In this video, we're going to breathe new life into map imagery by transforming it into eye-catching artistic designs using Affinity Photo. Let's get started. For this design, you need a high-quality map. You can download it using Google Maps. If you want to learn how to download high-quality maps from Google Maps, then watch this video by GeoDelta Labs. The link to the video is in the description. First, open your map image in Affinity Photo. Create a duplicate of the original map and hide the original. Then convert this map into dark mode. To achieve this, we will apply a gradient map adjustment to the map. In the gradient map tab, change the color on the left side to white. Remove the color in the middle and change the color on the right side to black. If you reverse the gradient, you will get a black and white version of the map, but we don't need that. Then create a circle above the map. I will reduce the opacity of it. Then resize and position it in the middle. Restore the circle's opacity to 100%. Then remove the circle's fill color. Change the stroke color of the circle to white. Increase the stroke width to your liking. Make the stroke a dotted line. Then change the gap and length of the lines in the dotted circle. Then create a duplicate of this circle. For this circle, remove the stroke and add a white fill. Now, holding the control key, left click on this circle. This will create a circular selection. Then click on the map and hide the white circle. Press control plus J to create a duplicate of the selected area. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then decrease the opacity of the full map to 30%. Then create a new pixel layer. Move it below the map and fill it with black color. Then decrease the opacity of the dotted lines to 65%. Then open the Gradient Map Adjustment tab of the Circle Map layer. In the gradient, add a white color at the 25% position. Then unhide the white circle and change its fill color to red. Decrease the opacity to 30% and change the blend mode to overlay. Then, using the polygonal selection tool, select a specific area you want to highlight inside the circle.
After selecting, rasterize the red circle and then press Ctrl plus J with the red circle selected on the Layers tab to duplicate the selected area, then hide the red circle. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Let's highlight some buildings inside the selected area. Use the Flood Selection tool and the Polygonal Selection tool with Add Mode to select the buildings. Now unhide the red circle, and with the red circle selected on the Layers tab, press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate of our selection. Move this layer to the top of all layers. Hide the red circle. Change the Building Highlight Layer's Blend Mode to Normal and increase the opacity to 50%. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect everything. Now, using the pen tool, draw above the highlighted path. Increase the width of the curve to your liking. Then change the start and end of the curve to a circle or solid circle or anything to your liking. Then change its color to green. It's almost looking nice. Let's add a graph overlay to it. I will place this graph between the circle map and the dotted border. Decrease the opacity and change the blend mode to Exclusion. Finale, play with the adjustments and layers to fine tune according to your needs. And there you have it. We've taken a standard map image and transformed it into a visually striking artistic design using the powerful tools in Affinity Photo. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more creative content, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Share this video with your friends and comment below what you'd like to see next. Your support helps us bring more amazing content your way.